Hey, what's up, you guys? How's everybody doing? Welcome back. So today's design is a recreation. So then let's begin. We're gonna be using Morado Sensación from the Amor Collection, and this one is from Fantasy Nails. We're also gonna be using Second Nude from Not Polish, and last but not least, we're also gonna be using Amethyst which if this is an acrylic that you can find on my store right now i think it's out of stock i'm not too sure i think it is um but anyway you guys it'll be back in stock in a couple of days so right here as you guys can see i already have my tips uh glued on and just prepped for this design so i'm gonna start by applying the purple acrylic here um, but before that, I want to mention that these tips are from my online store and you can purchase them there. These are the extra, 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 extra long stiletto tips. So if you guys like super long nails or you guys have clients that like or prefer extra long nails, these are perfect for you. Just because they do have the French uh, little cutout so that you can glue on your tips to the natural nail. They're not the full tips, okay? So uh, I'm going to be doing two ombres, which the two ombres are going to be on the index finger and on the pinky. And then right here I'm going to be applying the purple, just being very gentle with it, very careful I would say. Pretty much trying not to touch none of that skin whatsoever because we do not want any lifting. So here I'm going to be applying these purple maple leaves, which these little maple leaves do come on the fall bundle. If you guys don't know, I do have a fall bundle with nine acrylic powders and it comes with a, a little sticker, sticker sheet, um, some little leaves, and then these little maple leaves also come in there and some foils. So those are sold on my website. Um, I want to mention really quick here that if you do have an order or something, please bear with me if I take long. I have a lot of orders trying to fulfill. And also, you guys, I ran out of my containers, of my acrylic containers, and I'm just waiting for them to get here. I already contacted my supplier. They said it was here in the U.S., but honestly, I don't know where when i'm gonna be getting them on my hands so just bear with me please um but yeah anyway i'm just going to be doing the same ombre here on the pinky uh and then the brush that i'm using is a number 16 brush from nail supply glamour which you guys know this one became my fave and it's just really i know it's big because it is a number 16 but i don't know i like to i prefer to work with bigger brushes because it just helps me pick up small, big, medium, any size beads. As to if I work with a smaller brush, let's say a number 10, you, can, you can't really pick up big beads, you know what I mean? For extra long nails. So, you guys know that usually my designs here on my YouTube channel are super long. So I just prefer these brushes because they pick up bigger beads whenever I'm capping. Like I said, if it were to be a smaller brush, it would be it would just take longer for me to cap the nail, you know? But yeah, anyway, I'm going to be taking Second Nude from Not Polish. If you guys didn't know, we do have a coupon code with Not Polish. And I will have their link down below as well as, the, as my coupon code for you guys uh, to use on their website. And yes, chicas. So if you guys are wondering or have been wanting... To get your hands on some not polished products go and check them out honestly you guys i think they're one of the best brands out there in the market um so yeah so as you guys can see i'm just going to be doing the ombre here again trying to protect my cuticle area trying to protect my skin from not touching none of the acrylic or the acrylic and <laughs> touching none of that skin and yeah chicas uh, that's gonna make your nails pop right off and it's also gonna you know create a lot of lifting so if you guys are you guys are seeing that you've been prepping the nail right you've been pushing back your cuticles you've been um, you know removing any cuticle and removing the shine you've been doing everything that you're supposed to be doing to prep your natural nail but you're still seeing lifting 
it may be because you're touching the skin with the acrylic okay so i would highly suggest you guys to work on that because that was like one of the main issues that i had i always was like hey what's going on like i'm prepping everything right i'm applying everything how am i supposed to apply it the dehydrator the you know the bond everything how it's supposed to be and i was still getting freaking lifting and that was getting on my nerves you guys so um i started to work on my cuticle area a lot i started to work on that so that i wasn't touching none of the skin and honestly it just made a difference big time you guys you see that difference as soon as you start to to watch that part you know what i mean so here i'm gonna be doing another ombre but i'm trying to hurry and make this super fast as fast as I can you guys because I am gonna be doing like some color blocking I would say and I couldn't find my exacto knife honestly I have a mess in my nail room um, like literally uh, we're doing some changes and everything is everywhere so I cannot find it I I couldn't find it whatsoever um, right now I'm currently in my living room because we're like I said we're doing some changes and um i'm working on my living room and everything is everywhere like i cannot find nothing you guys that's why i also wanted to mention this i've lowered down my videos to two videos per week it'll be monday spanish and friday english because i'm not able to film that much plus i have my store on top of that and you know there's just so much going on right now and honestly, just being very, very raw with you guys, I felt like YouTube was taking a toll on me. It was getting very hectic. I had to be doing four videos a week uh, because I was uploading Mondays and Tuesdays, Thursdays and Fridays. And on top of that, I had a whole bunch of orders to do. On top of that, I had... I have a home you guys I have a regular life I have a husband I have a home I have kids to take care of you know and it was just so much pressure pressure I just couldn't do it anymore honestly it was becoming very stressful plus my views aren't anywhere close to what they used to be my subscribers aren't anywhere to where they used to be I'm not complaining you guys I love each and every one of you and I've always told you this I wouldn't be where I'm at if it wasn't for you guys and I thank you from the bottom of my heart times I tell myself like hey I'm doing all this work I'm you know trying to create so much videos putting myself out there um, sometimes I wouldn't even spend time with my family so that I would be doing videos and you know I took this as my job honestly and i didn't really see what i was expecting um which like i said i'm not complaining you guys i'm not but i was like you know what this is draining this is very stressful and you know i'm not even spending time with my family anymore because i'm just stuck on this little corner doing videos and you know doing orders and all of this which i am completely grateful for you guys you guys have supported me all throughout ever since i started with etsy ever since i started my youtube channel like you've been there like i i really 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 thank you um but i'm just saying like i was doing like so much and i wasn't really spending time with my family so now i decided to lower down my videos to two videos a week you know i hope it doesn't um affect my channel I'm kind of sure it is, but honestly, you guys, like, I think my family right now is more important because at the end of the day, today, like we say in Spanish, ahorita estamos aquí, mañana no sabemos. Like, today we might be here, but tomorrow we don't know. You know, tomorrow's never promised. Like, it's just, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know, you guys. I just really want to, you know, kind of spend more time with my family. Um, the kids and you know the husband and stuff so um, yeah it'll be two times a week Mondays and Fridays for sure you guys will be having two videos a week um, but other than that um, the store staying the same I'm still doing orders and I am so happy with my store it's doing great 
you guys have also have asked me if I'm taking any ambassadors. Right now, you guys, I'm not. I'm not taking ambassadors because the store, I'm, like I said, I'm very happy. I'm super, super happy and beyond grateful, honestly. Um, but the store is not, you know, at the point where I could reach out to people and ask them to be ambassadors. You know what I mean? Um, I have sent out products to some girls on TikTok and some girls here on YouTube so that they can review my products. But honestly, like, I'm not, I'm not even giving them coupon codes because I cannot afford that right now, you know? Um, that's why I only give you a couple of days, uh, for the coupon codes and you know like i said i cannot afford it so that's why i'm not i know a lot of stores leave their coupon codes for example for labor day they're still having it till friday i'm not you guys i can't do that like i can't um I, my store can't afford that right now so i hope you guys understand but other than that everything else is staying the same like i said just the channel the channel is two times a week only but yeah as you guys can see here, going back to the video, I'm going to be capping everything. Just make sure you cap because we do have a lot going on. We do have glitter going on. We have an ombre. We have, we have you know, little uh, maple leaves and stuff. You do have a lot going on. So just make sure you cap everything in place. And um, off camera, I just went ahead and filed the nails because you guys know that I've been leaving that part out again because the videos were becoming way too long as to my true crime and nails I think I'm gonna be bringing that back in October for like for that Halloween creepy stuff so yeah that's coming back in October don't worry I haven't been able to do one for September I might I may not but for sure it's coming back um, in October so yeah you guys right here i'm gonna be applying my top coat and these nails were mattes like you guys can see in the original picture um my middle nail came out kind of funky looking i didn't really like it uh because again i did not have my exacto knife but oh well i i just worked with what i had in hand and um the actual picture the real design or the inspo picture had these like the glitter part here on the middle nail shiny so i went ahead and applied my shiny top coat and i cured that in the lamp i cured my first coat of matte top coats for 60 seconds and when it came out of the lamp i went ahead and did this part of the shiny top coat okay you don't want to you know mix them you know while they're still wet so cure one and then once it comes out of the lamp you apply the other one and this is what the nails turned out to be like honestly i i loved this design ever since i saw it and i really liked it it is so freaking pretty uh so i don't know something different purple for for fall is something very very different but truly it is very pretty you guys so thank you so much for being here and thank you so much for being so understanding um, I hope to see you on the next one. I will be seeing my English speaking audience <laughs> on next Friday's video. And um, again, thank you so much from the bottom of my heart. I am so grateful for each and every one of you because without you, I wouldn't be here and my store wouldn't be where it's at. Thank you so much from the bottom of my heart. And I will see you on the next one. Stay safe. God bless. Have a safe weekend and bye bye.